So the last time I tried this guy, he got a 4 out of 10. Can you guys believe it? Pretty much nearly useless. Now, he has a team of the season card. Is he better? That's what we're going to find out. If you guys are looking for a cheap, reliable place to get your coins, check out battle.com. The link will be in the description and use the code ITANI to get 5% off. Now, to begin with, as you guys can see by the stats, there's been a huge improvement over the inform and now the team season card it looks brilliant his in-game stats look okay i mean he goes for this card price i actually literally bought him for like 10k literally 10k people just didn't even want to bother discarding him decent pace to begin with i thought he was way faster than the inform so he had really good pace for a striker that is quite tall now he's got decent dribbling as well not as stiff as his inform that's a huge improvement there as well Decent strength and aggression. Don't expect him to be the strongest of players. I think his strength and aggression are both in the 70s, but he can hold off defenders very, very easily unless you're playing against high-rated teams. Now, I would actually recommend this guy in a silver team. Do not put him in a gold team because as I did, I started playing high-rated teams and I found him quite useless against the higher-rated teams. But once you play against silver teams, this guy could be pretty deadly and he is sort of a silver player uh, if you count a low gold rated player as a silver player. Well, originally this guy is a silver player. Awesome shot power and long shots. This one, uh, I think he, over the inform, his shooting has been significantly improved. I think this is what has been improved the most, in my opinion. And also really good finesse shots over the inform now. I mean, you will see other really nice finesse shots. I think two in this video, which were actually pretty damn awesome. Good positioning. He has medium attacking work rate and low defending work rate. Not too bad, but I found him in in good positioning uh, well, I found him in good positions most of the time um, this card price and basically that is all there is to it but his heading even though for a tall player I expected him to be a target man didn't really win me any headers rarely did he actually ever win me headers so that is a kind of a big downfall because if you were expecting a target man I don't think he is suitable for that well for that position three star weak foot and three star skills is another downfall for the striker and just the biggest one for me is he just isn't that great against very high rated players a uh, very high rated team sorry so if you're going to be playing against a sweaty team a sweaty goal team you won't really like this guy because sweaty defenders are just going to easily get him off the wall but if you're playing against silver teams this guy could be very very effective so the choice is yours he just goes for the scored price that's all there is to it now i actually listen to all your feedback some some of you want the world cup reviews some of you want team of season reviews so what i'm going to do is split one video for team of season and one video for the world cup each day so you guys both could be happy for whichever mode you play so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did i'd really appreciate a like and as usual guys Guys, I really appreciate every single person that watches these reviews, all my videos, and just supports them. Thanks so much. Hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys have a very nice day.